Hey everybody, it's Yoshicraft64, and welcome back to Frogger 2 Swampy's Revenge. In the last episode, we got all the coins in the game. And in this episode, we're going to be playing the bonus levels, or the retro levels. Super retro, yeah. Um, I did go ahead and beat the remaining levels I didn't beat off camera uh, on hard mode. Um, yeah, they were relatively easy, even grindstone, um, which I thought would be really difficult considering... I, it's my least favorite level in the game, so like, you know. Uh, anyway, today we're going to be playing the retro levels. There's a few of these, you know, just, just a few of them. And uh, yeah, let's uh, get started. Uh, we're going to start as Frogger here. And uh, this is a pretty simple level. It's, uh, oh, you get it? Because it's, it's Frogger. Anyway, uh, we're going to be playing true classic Frogger here. Yeah. Um... I, you know, I like these levels. These are pretty fun. Uh, it starts out pretty bland and boring. Um, this is the, uh, okay, there is, there is one thing I need to talk about. You cannot super hop in this level, uh, or in any of the, uh, the super retro levels. You cannot super hop in them. So it means that, uh, you can't just jump over your threats. You have to actually wander around them, which is quite scary. Get out of here, dog. Yeah, you can't just, like, skip this part. You actually have to wait for them, which is pretty scary in some levels. Um, especially when nothing shows up for, like, eight seconds. Okay. But the upside of these levels is that there are no coins, so you don't have to collect them. Um, but, uh, I don't expect to win this one. And, um, yeah. The interesting thing about this, or about these levels is that they... They tend to, like, become more advanced and complex, uh, for each frog that you get. Um, sort of similar to the arcade game. Um, the difference with the arcade game is that, uh, it gets more difficult whenever you beat the levels. But yeah, uh, I got the record. Huge time! Like, that was, like, that was, like, 14 seconds over. But yeah, way back when pretty easy level in comparison um so let's get started with the next one toad road we're gonna play as lily so you can kind of see the gimmick for these all of them have like the, the the retro style but they all like change the level layout uh in each level which, you know, adds something to it. Okay, almost there. Okay. And yeah, it's the snakes. The sad thing, it, it doesn't add, like, the, the crocodiles that show up at the, uh... It doesn't add the crocodiles that show up at the, where the frogs are, which is kind of a shame. Anyway, that was extremely easy. I beat that in, like, I beat that really quickly. Alright, one way. Play as Tad, my boy. Game? What? Okay! Game just decides to crash there. Okay, fine. Anyway, this is one way. Uh, pretty fun. I remember this I, I remember liking this one a lot. Nice thing about these levels is that it's very, like, um not limited. It's like, it's very open. These levels are very open. You can pick whatever order you want for all the frogs. Which, you know, makes sense, because that's what you could do in the arcade game. Um. Uh. Okay. I'm about to run out. Uh. Yeah. Um. Alright, well, first running out of time. Luckily, these levels are pretty short, so it's not like it's going to take that long to get back to where I was. Oh, yeah, the, I forgot that it sends you back to where you were whenever you started. It's not like uh, the main levels. I was I was instinctively going to, like, step out and grab another frog, like, right after that. That is a very strict timer, though. Look, look how fast things going down. Uh, I have one more. Hard part is grabbing them. You gotta be careful, uh, especially when... Yeah. 
That is uh, not easy. I'm gonna get the right side. See if that's any easier. Oh boy. It really speeds up. Ah, don't I missed. Oh, that's just the nice of you game. One thing I really love about this game is its music. It's just really good music. At least in my opinion. Especially this one. This one's really good. Like, it's, uh, yeah, pretty good. It's funny, I'm, I'm thinking about it now. The music in, like, the, the Frogger Arcade is pretty lackluster. I think it's just, like, uh, classical tracks or something. And that's it. it. It's just a bunch of classical tracks, and that's, that's like, the entire soundtrack of the arcade game. Because, like, of course I've played the arcade game a few times. Like, this, this is the first video game I ever played. Of course I'm going to go back to its roots eventually. It's funny how strict the levels are in, or the timers are in this. Because... Uh, it is not, the timer is not very strict in the arcade game, so it's like funny to think about how strict it is here. There you go! Easy level, definitely. Didn't take me like 20 tries. There you go. Alright. Round the bend. Play is Treeby. Okay, thank you for being so slow, jeez. It is super slow. Okay, so I believe whenever the more frogs you get, the less lily pads there are here to uh, allow you to skip, so you have to take the full route eventually. I believe that's the gimmick of this level. Or not, because the level has not changed at all. Okay, it has changed slightly. The the giant bulldozers have, uh, or the, yeah, just the bulldozers have, uh, gotten fast. Okay, yes, that is that is the gimmick. It is. Okay, it does lower the thing. The only thing I was seeing was the bulldozers were getting faster. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna just gonna tailgate this guy. There you go. That was a much easier level than the last one. Yeah, just substantially easier. Alright, Jim. Like crockwork time. Sounds like a good one for Ward. Ah! Speed now. We're going at speed. Oh, and now there's way more cars. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. These levels get a little crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that corner one, that one's just going to be flat out impossible at higher levels. So don't get the green one last. Get the green one first, like you're supposed to. This is a case of get the green one first. What? How did that hit me? Okay. 
Oh no, I went too fast. Oh man, that would have been the run. Yeah, that would have been the run. Man, I need to stop making silly mistakes like that. And there you go. It's just an easy level. Alright, frog jam. Tank. Let's get this. Let's do this. Oh, this is the level that's just water. Yeah, that's right. This this is just... It's just the classic level, but it's purely water. And then uh, blocks get added everywhere. Which definitely adds... It adds to difficulty, because now you gotta deal with blocks everywhere. I'll get the edge ones first. Get the edge pieces first, and then you... You do the corners first, and then you do the edge pieces. Pretty easy here. Yeah, this is, uh, pretty easy. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, ah, ah, easy level. That's a fun one. I love all of these levels. They're all pretty fun. Alright, it's time for gym. We're in the gridlock. Uh, I know that's a car term, but I do not remember what it means. At least I think. Oh! <clears throat> Excuse me. Best character. No, that that belongs to Tad, but Tad is the best character. We all know this. Oh wow. Oh gosh, that gets fast. Eh. Uh, what the, uh. Okay. Don't get hit. Okay. Okay, I don't know why I'm not getting the edge ones first. I'm only getting some of the edge ones first. Which is not correct. Okay, purple frog. No! Okay, you can't get back up there. Note to self, you cannot get back up there once you fall. Hey, these guys are driving on the sidewalk. That's like illegal or something. Anyway, I win. Ah, uh, yes, Ruby. Such a silly character. Alright, driven back? Swampy time. Let's do it. Uh-oh. Uh. So, what do we do here? I do not know. Uh, that's why I'm grabbing this. <sighs> Waiting. Interesting gimmick. Waiting. I mean, that's, that's most of this game. Just, just waiting on openings. That is just objectively most of this game is waiting on, is waiting for openings uh, in sections like this. Oh, right! The level gets more difficult by removing lily pads. That's literally just how the level gets more difficult. It removes the lily pads. Uh, which absolutely makes the level more difficult. Jeez. Um, that's difficult. I gotta do that mandatory wait there. Ok, 
Okay, wait. wait. That's it, there you go. That was close. I would have died there if I wasn't uh, careful. Yeah, there you go. Easy. <laughs> All right, so we got a uh, Twister here. I'm gonna play as Tad, because he's the best. Oh, but I remember hating this level, so that's gonna be fun. Uh, there's a way to skip doing, like, all of this level, but it is incredibly slow and tedious. You know, I think I know why that one's red, because it's the last one you're supposed to get, because it's the easiest one to get. Hmm, I, I realize my mistake. It literally goes in easiest to hardest order. Uh, uh, you go, yeah, bah. Yeah, I remember this being the bad level, so, uh, that'll be fun. There are ways to skip these walls, but it is not easy. Uh, uh, there you go. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, thank you. Auto align. Get me up there. Okay, we grab you first. I'm not going to be able to step on those for very long, because they're going to start... Yeah. Eh, don't, don't stand on the mouth. Bad idea. Oh, that's why the level timer is so long. They expect you to do this the normal way, but there is a way to skip it. It's not easy, but it is possible, and I've done it before. You just kind of run into the wall. And if you do it right, you can just kind of walk through it. It's a really weird tip or like trick. It doesn't work 100% of the time. Um, I'm not gonna show it off again, uh, unless like I'm destined to fail or something, which might be the case. So maybe I will show it off. Anyway, I need the stars to align here. Oh wow, okay, game is on hard mode now. Yeah, that's objectively correct. The game is on hard mode. Well, that was something. Let's try that again. So what you want to do for this trick is you kind of just want to walk through, and then you it's kind of hard to time. Uh, I feel like I'm just going to show it off because it's kind of cool and uh, I'm not going to win anyway, so I may as well just try and show it off. It's kind of a difficult thing to time, but you can do it as you just saw, and if you're good at the game, you can make use of it. Uh, yeah, it's the cool little trick for uh, skipping the entire level. It's just kind of difficult to time. Okay. Oh, almost there. There you go, I did it. Okay, well that saved uh, probably no time because of how many times I died there, but I definitely got it, which is cool. I'm not going to try it again because it is very difficult to pull off. There you go, that was, uh, something. 
Okay, now they're opening the jaws. It, it took them a moment to realize that, oh, hey, I need to do this thing that I'm programmed to do. I don't know why it took them so long, but it did. Um, I hope I win this and don't game over. That would be really sad if I game over here after getting the trick. Down here. Okay. We got most of the easy ones. There's a few hard ones left. Uh, like the purple and red frogs. I will get the red frog last, because that is the intended order. Oh, shoot. That's not good. There you go. Alright, there's one last. Uh, yeah, you need to line these up, thing, uh, these things up well. It's like a pretty tight timing. There you go. So yeah, I showed off a cool trick. That's and that's what's important. Yeah. Nice one, Jim. All right, blockade. Let's do this one as Frogger, just for, you know, old time's sake, because this is like the, it's the last level, so, you know. Um, very good. But yeah, this is the last level in the game that we will be doing, uh, for the series. This is the end of the series, right here. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, I guess. Oh, this game does the opposite, it puts the red frog last, in the hardest to reach spot. This, yeah, this level does the exact opposite of the level before it. It's also pretty similar, though, where you have to take this long route to get all the frogs. Just instead of purely water, it mixes it up slightly. <laughs> you can probably do that clip in uh, this level as well. And if you're good at the game, you won't die. Wait here and re-grab it. There you go. That's how you beat that. It's a super simple section, and I shouldn't have struggled that much with it. I don't know what I was thinking there. I genuinely don't know what I was thinking there. Why did I do that? That doesn't make any sense. There is no reason for me to game over here again. <sighs> here we go again. There's a reason they give you 3 minutes and 44 seconds in this level. It's because it's a long level. This is longer than most levels in the game. This is like... I think this is longer than, like, uh, the amount of time that, uh, Space Station gives you. Um, uh, which is pretty crazy. Uh, Space Station is a, l uh, long level. I'm pretty sure it's, like, one of the longest levels in the game. Uh, there's also Space Suckers. Space Suckers is a very long level as well. But I don't know if it's as long as Space Station. Yeah, I think Space Suckers might actually be the real longest level. We've gotten pretty far in the original Frogger before. It's not that hard of a level, right? You know, I've gotten pretty far in that game multiple times. And there you go. I mean, it's that easy. It's that easy. You don't even need to try. It's it's not even a hard level. It's an easy level. I don't. I can't believe I spent that long on it. Anyway, that's all of the levels beaten on hard mode with all of the coins. Yeah, that's all of them. Pretty cool not gonna lie. Uh, but, of course, there's a couple things I wanted to do uh, left. First of all, we're gonna turn hard mode off. Uh, we're gonna set it back to normal. And what we're going to do is we're going to activate mini frogs and feeding frenzy. These are like, uh, first of all, you can see mini frogs already. Uh, this is the 
These are the rewards you get for getting all the coins. Uh, mini frogs you get slightly earlier than Feeding Frenzy for doing like all but three of the levels. Or all but two of the levels. Uh, Feeding Frenzy you get all the levels on coins, so yeah. Feeding Frenzy is pretty cool. You basically just get to eat everything in sight. And it's a pretty hilarious uh, ability. And it makes levels way easier. And yes, you can combine this with um, the thing. You can combine this with going for time trials, which is pretty funny. I don't believe you can eat the cars, sadly, so I'm not going to try it on there. I'm going to try it on... Uh, let's do it on Space Station. And let's, let's play as my boy. My boy Tad. Look at how tiny he is. Um, but yeah, you can just eat everything, which is hilarious. Nom. Just eat abs- just- just destroy everything by eating it, which is hilarious. Um... Yeah, just eating everything, it's like the funniest thing ever. Um... There are some things you can't eat, uh... Like, there are some enemies that you just can't eat, but you can eat a lot of things, even, like, decorative elements, and I think that's one of, like, the coolest, like, uh, rewards for, like, 100% ever. Just, like, being able to annihilate every level really easily. It's just, uh, pretty fun. It's especially satisfying eating all these, especially after how much trouble I had with Space Station in the past. That was not an easy level. I think I did, uh... I did not do this section, so let's do this section. Uh, remember the double jump here? Hey, you can just eat everything. Who's... Who's the bad enemy pattern now? Am I right? <laughs> you show him, Tad. Eat the thing! Okay, I guess I missed. Do I missed? It's a real... DOI YOU CAN'T EAT THOSE! Okay, that's an example of something you cannot consume. Listen, his stomach may be infinite, but he, uh, he has some restrictions. Um... Alright, let's do the last section. You can just delete everything, and I love that so much. And yeah, I think uh, eating those, it actually, like, permanently clears them, which is pretty funny. Alright, what's, a? Uh, alright. I will do one more level of this. Uh, I will do Grindstone, because uh, that's pretty funny. Well, actually, no, I, I will do Grindstone just to show off an annoyance that I have, and the reason I hate Grindstone so much. Uh, so, we have, you know, these things, you can eat them, right? Yeah, you can eat these, right? Pretty cool, not gonna lie. And then, uh, you know, let's eat some more. Wait, how did I die there? I just randomly got killed. That's not normal. How am I dead? Alright, well, that's probably fine. Nothing happened, really. I keep eating these, and then, uh, I died again. Okay, fine. Okay, how did I die there? I just completely randomly died. Um, I'm dead. Okay, so let's just eat more. Let's eat more of these things. Alright, let's... Okay, I'm dead again. Okay, what's going on? Why am I dead? And why am I gaming over? So yeah, those things, even though you can eat them, they, uh, they are still there. They're just despawned. Or they're, they're just invisible, which makes the level harder, and that's why I hate grindstone so much. Also, it's really hard to speedrun. Um, but yeah. Uh, that is everything. Uh, there is one more thing I want to showcase. And it's the art gallery here, or yeah, art, yeah, view artwork. This is the basically all of the concept art for the game, uh, put in just this, this little uh, thing here, which is pretty cool. You can see like the concepts for all the levels. You got like the boulders, uh, various like mummy-based levels. There's the Halloween levels. Like I guess they wanted to have like trees that ate you or something. Zombies. Is that a zombie kangaroo or something? Yeah, uh, these are some pretty cool things you can look at. Uh, oh, the monkey! You can see the monkey there, in the infernal machine. Yeah, uh, this is, uh, pretty cool. This does not look like anything. This looks like an actual blueprint of something. Um, Frogger getting zapped. You got, like, I don't know, that looks a lot like Fawful in the background. Um, you got aliens. Which is way cooler than the... Yeah, Fawful Returns. Um, more space stuff. 
more underground caves. Um, the ant level. Freaking ant level. Oh boy. Yeah, uh, I think this is the ant level again. I can't really... No, this is the, uh, this is the underground mine. And this is very similar to the final product. Look at that. That's almost identical. Oh, and we got characters here. Character designs. Frogger. Lily Frog. You cannot read that very well. Um, Ruby. Our boy. Swampy. Heck yeah. Best character. Except Tad is the best one, as you can see. I mean, look at him. Look at the guy. Look at how goofy he is. Tank. Yeah, I don't really like his artwork design as much as I do like... I love his model, but not, not his artwork. His artwork isn't great. Uh, Treeby, the silly boy. He's pretty cool. Uh, Wart, the big one. I wish his model reflected it more. He's more like a recolor of Frogger. It's a shame. His model... I wish his model reflected his design more. And I guess those are the developers, which is pretty cool. And that's all of it. That's... Uh, a game crash! Well, you know what? I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this series that's been going on for how many years at this point? But, uh, yeah. Uh, this is the anniversary for the game again, if you haven't noticed. And, uh, yeah, I had fun. Uh, maybe I'll get to see you in the next series eventually, and, uh, we'll get to do something. Uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this series, and, uh, yeah. Like and subscribe if you liked it and want to see more or something. Bye-bye. See ya. Farewell. Bye. Cut the camera. We're not doing this bit again. Cut the freak-